Good morning, happy Tuesday to you. Why is it happy? I have my uh, Jerry Garcia hat on today, that's why it's happy. But today I'm gonna uh, show you little tricks about uh, making your uh, flank steak a little more tender and a lot more flavorful. And how you do that is you can order this on Amazon. This tool here is called a jacquard. So when you push on it, the blades come out and it's a tenderizer. So basically what I'm gonna do is, you can pick a seasoning salt that you really like. Today I'm going to use the Lowry's Chipotle Cinnamon Rub, which is an excellent product. So you will sprinkle that pretty liberally onto the flank steak, along with some kosher salt. I also like to use some type of a wet product, a vinaigrette. You need a vinaigrette that you enjoy, you can top that on with. So I put some vinaigrette along with it on top. And then you get that tool that I was talking about. Be careful with your fingers when you use this. And the blades come out each time you push on it. It's pure as the meat, penetrates the meat gets the marinade and the uh, which is the vinaigrette and the salt and the seasoning salt the chipotle minimum cinnamon rub say that ten times fast uh, into the meat so you're gonna flip it over and do the same process all over again pretty liberal with the salt and the seasoning because it one gives a nice flavor too, it'll kind of melt off when you've got it on the grill on the heat. And again, push that in. I'm sorry, I forgot the marinade. Get a good that on there. Spread it around. Don't re-dip it in after you rub it on the meat for cross-contamination purposes. Put it in a bowl and just pour it over that way so you don't have to re worry about re-dipping it pretty liberally and that's about it. So one thing to remember about flank steak is the muscle pattern line. So if you can see them real close, they're running this way. They're running horizontally. So. When you go to cut it, you never want to cut with the lines because it'll make it chewy. You always want to go against the grain of the muscle striations when you carve it after it's cooked, obviously, on the grill to the temperature you like, so you go against the grain. The grain is running this way, so you always cut against the grain. So that's a couple quick tips. A couple quick tips for you. Happy Tuesday. Go Blackhawks, go White Sox. Make a little happy face with my pancake breakfast this morning for you. Have a good day. Enjoy.